Right, uh, hello everybody. Um, so today um, I'm going to do a model box opening for you. Um, my name's Martin. I'm Laughing Boy on the BeastsOfWar.com uh, forums. If you want to find me there, uh, I'm super late with doing this video. So what it actually means is you guys are going to get the the January box and then the February box afterwards. Uh, just because I just haven't got around to doing this video, and I kind of said that. I wasn't fully committing to it, but I said I would do it for a few months, post video, see if anyone likes the idea of it, uh, and then perhaps people will subscribe themselves, and I still haven't made a decision whether I'm gonna keep doing it or not, and, and maybe we'll talk about this in that, in this video. So, what is Model Box? Well, Model Box there, and I'll put a link in the description below, is a kind of loot box-esque type um, package that comes through every month you subscribe uh, and it's a random box of model hobby type materials that so could be some some little models some paints some uh, scenery type stuff um, all sorts of things anyway let's crack on with it uh, this is January's uh, it's a very very small one as you can see compared to the size of uh, um, February's one and they do often come different sizes and tend to be the smaller ones tend to be more model focused or perhaps have some paints in there because they can put them in a smaller box and the big ones sometimes they have scenery and bits and pieces like that so anyway let's click on with this one uh, so the first one is some army painter battlefield field grass so pretty standard static grass which yeah that's great i shall certainly use that actually um, I have just come through today, I'll reach it here, um, some teams for Blood Bowl, so I have the Skaven team and the um, Dwarfen team for, for Blood Bowl, so probably use the Static Grass with those, that's great. Um, next I have some uh, Darklands figures, Woodmund, he's a warrior, uh, I'll just bring that into the camera so you can see what that is. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Looks like a good little figure. I don't have any of this stuff in my collection, so uh, it would be nice to play with some of that and paint it up so it looks like. I'm probably proxied in for many things, I imagine. And then there's another Dark Clans um, figure as well, up next. Dinog of Kanman. Probably said that terribly, but a Druin Warrior. Can't quite get him in the box to see him properly, but you can see the figures there, and then there's a, a bunch of accessories that you can take. Oh, well, there's uh, not much else in this box, so uh, we've got some paints. Uh, we've got Army Painters Barbarian Flesh. Right up there. Guys probably know exactly what that is. And some Army Painter Angel Green. Which is a shame for me actually, it's quite funny because uh, for for Christmas, and I'll show you again because it's right here, um, my wife actually bought me the Army Painter Mega Set, it's just the empty box here, all over my paint rack now. So both of those paints, I'm pretty sure, in fact actually I know they're in, they're in that set. Um, but never mind, we can never have enough paints, so that's great. And that's the, uh, the January box there, so some static grass, a couple of models, and a couple of paints. So not bad. Um, so you know, I'll say my verdict on that January one. Um, again, the loop, so not loop, like the uh, the model box subscription is about thirty pounds. So that seems okay value for money. That's probably exactly what it costs to buy those those things. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure on that one. But let's move on to February. This literally came from a couple of days ago. Open it up. Uh, so straight away on top, I've got some paints, um, and I've got some Model Air Vallejo Rao One Zero Zero Six Yellow Ochre. There we go. Which is great. I shall put that with my airbrush paints, and then Game Color Gory Red, which I'm not sure if I have that. Within arm's reach. No, I've got bloody red. There we go. So I have a tone for that. So that definitely looks like that's the darker tone, and then the highlights on. Oh, I'm getting confused with my camera. Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll always have more paints. Um, get rid of some of this packing material. Um, 
Oh, okay, this is quite. I've seen this actually. This is on uh, TT Combat's website, and I like TT Combat stuff. It's really good value for money, easy to put together, and paints up fairly well. But this is actually an entire game. So this is the TT Combat Space Swarm game, fast-paced game of miniature spaceship combat. It has some dice in the back. It has one looks to be so it's the core game set, as it says there. So it's quite cool. I'm guessing it's a similar thing to sort of um, what well, a local one is. A similar thing to sort of X Wing. Maybe a simplified version of that. So it comes with the rules, and there's also some stack cards in there as well, which you can cut out in sort of directions to build your little ships. Okay. Well, I've not had that before, I've not had an actual game in, in the box. That'd be a nice one to play with the kids. And what else have I got? Uh, Fire, Firestorm Armada. So, the Solarian Collective Destroyer Group. So I'll try and bring that in, you can see that. There you go. So, it looks like three ships. Again, not a game I've played or have any collection of. I have got um, Drop Fleet Commander uh, that I'm painting up at the moment. It's on my desk just here. I wonder if they're similar scale, whether they would be able to be proxied in for some other ships. Don't know. Okay, that's great. Uh, and then there's just a bit of marketing. So no one cares about that. And that's all that's in the box. So again, that's a month, uh, February. Um, I got the, the um, what was the name of this again? Uh, Space Swarm by TT Combat. Uh, a couple of paints. And these Firestore Armada Collective uh, Battleships. And that's that. Um, so what do I say about this? Uh, it's good, it's, I like getting the sort of box of surprises every month, I think that's quite cool. Uh, what I would say is a definitely better months than others. Um, I think the first couple I got in October and November, I think were probably my favourites. Um, no, actually, uh, yeah, October and December, and the reason why was because they were sort of themed around, you know, the October one had some Halloween stuff in it, um, had some sort of Halloween bases and the werewolf. Uh, you can look at my other my other videos to see that one if you want. And the Christmas one did have some sort of you know Christmas themed items in the box. Um, this one, uh, I like the fact there's a game in the February one. That's quite cool. You know, something I probably wouldn't have picked up myself, even though I do like TT Combat's um, products. Definitely, uh, I don't know if I would have picked that piece up. I normally buy the scenery stuff from there. So certainly break that up and give that a try. Um, and the other ones, I don't know, the January one's probably a bit of a letdown. There's nothing in there that sort of, you know, makes you go, oh, that's, awesome. that's really cool, that's really awesome. So, I don't know, the verdict is, it's £30. I think if you can afford that, it's nice to get the surprises every month, and hopefully, um, as it goes on, better things will appear in the boxes, perhaps a variety of things, um, um, and the value might get better, I don't know. Uh, I think I'll keep it going for the moment, because I like to do the videos gives me a chance to have a practice of doing YouTube videos and potentially do other things in the future. Um, but yeah, that's it. So um, hopefully that was you know, insightful into what comes in the model box uh, subscription. Um, and if you want to check it out yourselves, I'll put a link in the description and you can do so. All right. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. Bye. Bye.